welcome all in last lecture we have studied the problems based on multiplexer tree today we are going to use the multiplexer in combinational logic design so we are going to see for both sop expression and pos expression first we will go for sop expression in which we are going to identify the decimal number corresponding to each mean term in the given expression as illustrated below here the expression taken is a bar b bar c bar plus a b bar c plus a b c now we are going to find the decimal number for each mean term for a bar b bar c bar the equivalent binary number will be 0 0 so its decimal equivalent is 0 for a b bar c the binary equivalent is 0 1 0 sorry 101 and its decimal equivalent is 5 and for abc the binary equivalent is 111 and its decimal equivalent is 7 so the decimal numbers corresponding to each mean term in this examples are 0 5 and 7 so the input lines of multiplexers corresponding to these numbers that is 0 5 and 7 are going to be connected to logic 1 level and all other input lines of multiplexer are connected to the logic 0 level and the inputs a b c are to be connected to the select inputs now we will go with the first example in which a truth table is given and we have to realize the logic function of the given truth table using multiplexer now as we are going for sop expression we are going to consider only logic one output in this truth table now for this one the input combination is 0 0 1 so its decimal equivalent will be 1 for this one the input combination is 0 1 1 and its decimal equivalent will be 3 and for this one the input combination is 1 0 and its decimal equivalent is 4 and for this one the input combination is 1 1 0 and its input combination is and its decimal equivalent is 6 so these are the decimal numbers 1 3 4 6 so the boolean expression will become like y equal to summation small m 1 3 4 6 now from this truth table we got the sop expression in which the decimal numbers are 1 3 4 6 6 now as per the rule we are going to con connect before that as there are three inputs we are going to use the multiplexer which is having three select lines so 8 is to 1 multiplexer is having three select lines so we are going to consider the 8 is to 1 multiplexer over here so out of the 8 inputs we are going to connect a 1 3 4 and 6 to logic 1 and rest all the remaining inputs we are going to connect to the logic 0 now the input lines a b c are going to be treated as a select inputs and here it is a output so this is how we can use the multiplexer in the combinational logic design now the next example is function of abc equal to summation small m 0 to 4 6 here the direct equation is given in the problem so we are going to consider again a 8 is to 1 multiplexer as there are three inputs so 8 is to 1 multiplexer is having three select lines therefore we are using a test to one multiplexer again and here we are going to connect the four inputs from these eight inputs 0 2 4 and 6 to the logic 1 and remaining all the inputs we are going to connect to the logic 0 and these are the three select lines and this is our output again we will go for third example in which the function of abcd is summation small m 25789 12 14 15 as the 
function is of four variable so we are going to use the multiplexer which is having four select inputs so here we are we have used 16 is to 1 multiplexer which is having four select lines and those are connected to the input lines now in this problem that is a b c d now out of the 16 inputs we are going to connect 2 5 7 8 9 12 14 15 to logic 1 and remaining all the inputs are connected to logic 0 and this is our final output this is how we can use or we can construct a combinational logic design for the given SOP expression by connecting the decimal numbers available in the equations to the logic one and all the remaining numbers connecting to the logic zero after that we will see the use of multiplexer in combinational logic design for POS expression in this also we are going to follow the same thing again we are going to identify if the expression is given from that we are going to identify the decimal number corresponding to each max term from the given SOP POS expression now here this is A plus B plus C means it is 0 0 0 here we are going to consider normal variable as 0 and complemented as 1 as the equation is, is in POS expression so its binary decimal equivalent will be 0 for A plus B bar plus C the binary equivalent is 0 1 0 so its decimal equivalent will be 2 for a bar plus b bar plus c the binary equivalent is 1 1 0 and its decimal equivalent will be 6 this is how we have identified the decimal numbers related to max term in the given equation that is 0 to 6 and we are going to connect them to the logic 0 level as the expression is in POS form and all the remaining lines we are going to connect to the logic 1 level and whatever input variables are available we are going to treat them as a select inputs and we are going to connect those inputs to the select input of the given multiplexer now we will see one example in this the function is given as uh, function of three variables abc pi m 0 1 3 5 7 as the expression contains pi m from this we can identify the given expression is in POS form so we, uh, for this example we are going to connect the uh, as there are three variables again we are going to use the 8 to 1 multiplexer and from the given 8 inputs we are going to connect the 0, 1st, 3rd, 5th and 7th input to the logic 0 and rest all the inputs we are going to connect to the logic 1 and the input variables abc are connected to the select inputs of the multiplexer and here it is the output of our multiplexer this is how we can use the multiplexer in the combinational logic design for the POS expression by connecting the decimal numbers available in the expression to the logic 0 and rest all the remaining input lines to the logic 1 and these are the exercises based on SOP and POS expression for the combinational logic design we have to solve these exercises and submit it to me on or before 5th of November. Thank you.